Alrighty guys, welcome back to the channel. It is Wednesday, currently 12.15 in the afternoon. Basically, we're starting around the same time as we did yesterday. Uh, we do have our first order. We just accepted from Einstein Bagels. $7 payout, like 3.8 miles. Not the greatest, but like, like same thing like yesterday, I was getting a lot of garbage. I'm like, you know what? This one isn't too bad. The food was ready, so we can, we're, we're gonna knock this out in about 10 minutes. So I'm not too worried about that. So you guys can see today I'm wearing my Flux Capacitor shirt for you Back to the Future fans. Um, if you don't know what the Flux Capacitor is, I'm sorry. I, I, I guess you guys just didn't have a nice childhood and you didn't see Back to the Future. But I'm pretty sure like 100% of you guys did, so hopefully you guys know what that is. Anyways, um, I saw this yesterday on Facebook, so I don't know how accurate it is, um, but someone posted it on one of the Facebook groups screenshot here i'm gonna put it in the screen have you guys seen this that you can choose now how you want to earn money i'm guessing in certain markets so one is the same like like we do now you you basically get 100 percent of the orders that you choose to get you know no hourly wage or anything but if you see the other one that they're calling it earn by time when you'll earn 14 dollars an hour uh plus 100 percent of your tips right um but I think, if I'm not mistaken, it says if you decline two orders in a row, that's it, that's a wrap. You're, you're cut. <laughs> I was like, what? It makes no sense. I don't understand who would do this. Like, $14 an hour is not that high. You know what I'm saying? Plus, if you can't even decline more than two orders, you know for a fact you're going to be doing those no, uh, no tip orders, you know? Have it, has anyone seen this? Is it real? I don't know. I haven't, I haven't seen anything on it. Um, but if it does come to my market, I'm just gonna choose, you know, uh, the first option, which is what we do now, is the only one that makes sense. I think the second option is gonna appeal to like the top dashers and maybe dashers that just wanna get hourly and just take whatever and don't care. I think those people do exist. They're probably like in the, in the minority, uh, or maybe or maybe they're, they're the majority. I, don't, I really don't know, to be honest. Uh, there's a, is there a glare? There, there's a glare, sorry about that. So I don't know. I mean, you guys, give me your thoughts on this. Uh, have you seen this? Um, and if so, would you guys do it? 14 bucks an hour plus, you know, the tips, but you can only decline two orders, I think it said per hour, right? Or two orders overall in your shift. I forget what it said, let me see. I'm, I'm at a red light, so you know, I'm looking down real quick. Um, yeah, if you decline two orders in one hour, so basically you only get two declines per hour. Sheesh. Um, yeah, I don't understand. And then it says you'll earn $14 in DoorDash pay plus 100% of customer tips from the time you accept an order to when you drop it off. So it's not like they're, it's not like if it's slow and you're not getting any offers, they're not paying you if you're not doing an order. So you have to be doing an order. That's interesting. I don't, I don't man, I don't understand. I, I, I think if it gives you the option to choose like back and forth, I'm pretty sure that's what it says. You can alternate. I think if it came to my area, just for the sake of trying it, I would try it. But it wouldn't be like a everyday kind of thing, you know. It's uh, definitely not worth it, in my opinion. Definitely not in my market. You can make way more money by just doing it the old-fashioned way. Um, but yeah, so interesting. DoorDash is doing everything they can to try people to get these non-order, these non-tippers. They're trying to get them their food, you know. Because I mean, I'm sure. I wonder every day how many refunds on how many credits DoorDash must issue to these people that are probably complaining that no one's getting them their order when they're not tipping. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. Anyways, today we're going to have a great day. I think it might be a grind type of day just like yesterday, just based on the orders that I was getting. You know, super high mileage, low paying, or like crappy stacks, you know. Um, but yeah, the goal is going to be $222. I think if I'm not mistaken, that was a magical number that I came up with. If I do those, if I do that 15 days straight, um, we'll, hit, we'll hit the goal of $5,050. I think, I mean, obviously, I think some days I have to make a little bit more. Um, but 222, I think it's not, you know, crazy high. It's not like I'm saying we're gonna make $300 every single day. You know, it's, it, I think it's reasonable. I just gotta hope that you know it's busy enough for certain days. And certain days, you know, I like today and yesterday, I shoot myself in the foot by uh, not starting early enough but you know gotta get that beauty sleep oh i'm gonna hold on let me back up real quick you know when you're like following traffic and then you don't realize that the light's turning red and now you're blocking the the box i'm not gonna be that guy 
So I'm not blocking the box. The guy in front of me is blocking the box. Sucks for him. But anyways, we're five minutes away. Let me get this dropped off and we'll see you guys on the next one. Alrighty guys, so we got the order dropped off. It became actually 775, so that was a nice surprise. Then I got this order right away and honestly, I was so on the fence. $10 payout, six miles, 15 items though from uh, um, Noodles & Company, right? But it did have those magical words, like only take it if you have a heated bag and whatnot. I looked at the items, all entrees and whatnot, a couple of drinks. But I couldn't see the subtotal, you know. I was like, you know what? Why not? Ten bucks. Well, at least make that, you know. Um, we just picked it up. The food was ready. It has a subtotal of $195. So I'm pretty confident it's going to be more than $10. But if it's not, then I guess, you know, that's just one of those people I was, I was talking about. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure she tipped something, but it's, it's got to be more than 10 right? Or am I crazy? Um, I mean, I'm hoping it is. So... Anyways, we only have a nine minute drive for five and a half miles. Um, the guy helped me out to my car because it, it is like a bunch of like bottle drinks with two like actual like soft drinks, you know, when you go to the little fountain machine to get them. So I'm not sure how I'm gonna carry everything. I do have the actual food in a catering bag. It all fit perfectly snug in there. So there's that, you know, so I think I might just have to hopefully get someone to help me when I get to a door. But other than that, it should be fine. It should be fine. Um, but I'm thinking this is gonna be a banger. I mean, that's just that's just how I feel. That's that's my gut feeling. And my gut's usually usually right. I mean, not always, but for the most part, it's always like spot on. Uh, it's super hot. I mean, for me, it's hot. It's like 80 something. It's probably not crazy hot, but I hate I hate summer. You know, I don't like sweating. Um, at least not on purpose. Like if I'm playing a sport or from or you know I'm doing something, then yeah, I get it, I'm supposed to sweat. But if I'm just in my car walking somewhere, I don't want to sweat. You know. Uh, that's why I'm, I'm a winter person. What I always say is in winter time, you can, you know, snuggle up, get a blanket, whatever, you're warm. Summertime, you could be butt-ass naked. You're still going to be sweating. You're still going to be hot, you know. So my phone right now, I'm, it's like overheating. I can see it right now. It's telling me it's hot. So I have the AC kind of blasting and it kind of hits it on the way back. So I'm hoping that that's going to be enough. If not, we're going to have to figure something else. <laughs> Anyways, let me get this dropped off. Let's hope it's a banger. We'll see you guys in a bit. Alrighty, guys. Because we were dropped off. It was going to, um, what would you call them? You know, the, like the car service, like people that provide limos and things like that. That's what that business was. Uh, anyways, the order became $25. So definitely more than the $10 that it was showing. Definitely a little bit of a banger. Oh, definitely a banger. The one thing that I still don't understand is the base pay. The base pay was $225. But I drove six miles to get here. So shouldn't it be more? That's that's just my only like issue with DoorDash and the base plate because it doesn't make freaking sense, you know? Um, but other than that, you know, it was, a, it was a smooth delivery until like she told me, hey, can you put it in the kitchen or whatever? Like, I'm like, no problem. I go to open, I go to pick up the noodles and company bag and it just disintegrates. Luckily, it was on top of a table and she saw it happen. So, you know, I told her, hey, I'm so sorry. The bag gave out. She's like, oh, it's totally okay. No problem. Uh, then, then I was worried about the drinks that were in the bag because I'm like, if I pick this up and the drinks fall through, that's not cool. <laughs> Luckily, it didn't happen. Now we're back on the road. Currently, currently 12:54. We are we're sitting at man. I can't even talk. We're sitting at 33.61 for the entire dash. Not too bad. We got lucky with that um, order here from Noodles. Hopefully, we get something on the way back, and we'll see you guys on the next. Alrighty, guys. We were making our way back to the town center. You know, via Panera. You know, I chose that route on purpose. Hoping to get something because there's a lot of shops nearby. Nothing. Even Panera was sending me garbage. And I'm like, I know we're cool and all because you have this really awesome unlimited drinks program or whatever, but I'm not doing this for free, which is basically what that is. $5.75 for six miles. You're losing money. Anyways, so when I was there getting my iced coffee, because it's definitely a nice coffee type of day, it's hot outside. We got this order here from Mellow Mushroom, $9.50 for the payout. I think it's like four or five miles maybe. I'm taking it because this shift ends at 1.30. And it's 1.15 right now. And the next one starts at 2 p.m. So it's going to carry me until that. And on top of that, we're not getting anything else that's relatively good. You know, so when that order came in, jumped on it right away. It's only one item. We're only five minutes away. Hopefully it's ready. So we're going to at least have 9.50 in the books. So after this, we're going to be at least in the 40s. Let's go. Alrighty, guys. We're going to do order picked up. And it's actually going to, I think, one of my favorite customers. This lady, she always tips well. But you know, she she's always diverse. Like she always orders from different places. Like I seen her order from Fintai, Taco Bell, Mellow Mushroom, 
basically almost every single merchant in my market she orders from at some point but she always tips well so that's why one of my favorites uh, we're 15 minutes away now 4.4 miles from her house um, but yeah I mean honestly it's been a slow shift I guess but we got really lucky with that um that banger I guess it all it all basically works out from my very first order that I took because if I didn't take that one then I wouldn't have gotten the other one again I'm not a huge fan of like hypotheticals because you know you, can, you can't go back in time so there's no point in like oh if I didn't take that then I didn't get this and whatnot so like always my philosophy is take the smart orders the ones that make sense to you you know and everybody's everybody's uh, market is different everyone's situation is different so if there's an order that makes sense for you it might not make sense for me but in the end you're the one that knows what you guys need you know what I'm saying hopefully that made any kind of sense anyways we're 15 minutes away let's go Alrighty guys, we got the order dropped off. Now we're sitting at 43.11 here for the entire day. This dash just ended. My next was at 2 p.m. It's 1.40, the map is gray, so we can't go online right now. Uh, but it's just five more minutes. But I also wanted to thank you. We just passed 1,700 subscribers, so thank you guys. That's crazy. I can't even believe that. That's that's insane. Um, yeah, so 300 more. We hit 2K and we're gonna do the live Q&A. So that, that's going to be fun. I'm excited. So it's going to happen at some point. I know it is for sure. Um, but if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. But anyways, let me make my way back to the town center and we'll see you guys on the next one. Alrighty, guys, we were able to get online at 145. Basically drove back to the town center where we got this order from Pliables, $8 payout. I think 3.5 miles. I think it's a great order, especially now that we're going into the slow afternoon times, you know. Uh, but I don't know what's happened for Applier Bowls. They used to be super fast. Uh, and then you know what I've noticed? They have different staff. And I'm not saying that this staff is worse, but it is. They're way worse. They're way slow. Um, so I waited like seven minutes. And it's not even it's not even that, you know, you, you wait. It's, it's how you wait. Like, they basically ignore you. you. You know, it's like they're trying to avoid looking up, you know. And I get it. They're behind. People are coming in. They're ordering more stuff. You know, but it's just like... You can simply tell me, hey, we're working on it. It's going to be like seven minutes, you know, whatever. But, yeah, it's just uh, I'm going to have to really think about going there next time. But, I mean, I, it was still worth it because, you know, it's a nice payout for the miles and the time of day. Um, but I know that in the past they were way faster. You walk in, they would greet you. They would, you know, ask, hey, who are you here for, whatever. Now you walk in and there's a huge line. No one's at the register, you know. So it's kind of like either they're understaffed or they lost I guess the veteran staff that they used to have that, you know, were on it. And now it's just like a bunch of kids, you know, like literally like kids, you know, I don't even know. I'm telling you, the girl that was helping me out, she's got to be like 16, 17. But shouldn't she be in school? I don't know. I don't know. Or maybe they do like virtual learning and she's like not in school. I don't know. I mean, I guess she could be older, but she looks super young. I don't know. Anyways, we're only six minutes away, 2.5 miles now from the drop-off. So hopefully we get more orders because yesterday, 2 to 5 was rough. So I'm not trying to have a repeat of that. So hopefully it's busy. Let's go. Alrighty, guys. We're going to do order dropped off. It became 8.75. And then right away, we got this order from the kitchen. I have not been here in forever. If I'm not mistaken, it's either an Indian or a Chinese restaurant. But it has an 11.25 payout going six miles, only two items. And we're only two minutes away. So I think uh, hopefully it's ready. And it's a nice payout. You know, 11.25. It could be more. It could be just 11.25. But it's only going... I mean, yeah, you can say six miles. seems like a lot. But 11.25 at 2 p.m. I think that's a pretty good deal. So hopefully the food is ready and we'll see you guys back on the road. Alrighty guys, we're back on the road. We got the order picked up. We ended up waiting like 10 minutes past the pickup time, but it, it was okay because for one, I knew the lady gave me a real time and I didn't really feel like on a signing because I'm not really near anything else. So I was like, I'm already here. Might as well just, you know, see it through. And it's 11.25 during the slow time. So why not, you know? Um, but yeah, it ended up being a Chinese restaurant. I might even go back if I'm near the area because, you know, the food looked really good and it wasn't pricey or anything. I still have that, you know, the bad taste in my mouth for Pollo Peru last week when I paid like 13 bucks for like some dry chicken, you know. But anyways, I'll get over that eventually. 
Uh, but yeah, we're only seven minutes away now from the drop off. And yeah, we'll see you guys on the next one. Alrighty guys, we got the order dropped off. And you know what? It ended up being 11.50, so an extra 25 cents. We'll take it, we'll take it. Now we're sitting around $63, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Currently 2.35, making our way back to the town center. I'm not really getting anything, which is, you know, a sign that it's really, really slow. So we're probably gonna take the next best thing because I wanna be active, you know? I'm not trying to park like yesterday where it literally felt like I was parked for forever, even though I probably wasn't, but it's just how I, how I felt, you know? But if that's the case, then I'm gonna go to the garage, turn my car off, try to take some gas, you know, in the shadow because it's it's hot. So anyways, uh, hopefully it won't take us very long, but we'll see you guys on the next one. Alrighty guys, we were lucky enough to find some parking in the shade and not in the garage. Waited maybe 15 minutes until this order came along from Chipotle, 625, I think like 2.2 miles maybe. Um, food wasn't ready, we waited, you know, I was already basically here anyway, so no complaints. It's currently three o'clock basically, so again, the slow times today are real, just like they were yesterday. So I think it has to do with the weather. I think the fact that it's so nice out, people are, are actually going out of their houses and, you know, going out to eat and maybe picking up their own order. I don't know. Um, or it could also be because taxes are due soon, so maybe people are like scrambling, you know, maybe they gotta pay money, I don't know. But regardless, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna make it work, we'll see. Anyways, let me get this dropped off. We'll see you guys in a bit. Alrighty, guys. So the order from Chipotle went from 6.25 to 6.75, and I was basically about to park in the town center. We got this order here from M Pizza. Now you guys know me and M Pizza have not had the best relationship. Okay, uh, definitely strained, but it's slow. Seven dollars. I think it's like four miles. I was like, you know what? If it's ready, we'll take it. If it's not ready, we'll unassign. I walked in. It's super dead. The food was ready. So now we're on the road. We got a 10 minute drive here to the drop off. And yeah, right now between, you know, two and five, I definitely have to lower my standards a little bit because it's not as busy, you know? So we still want to be uh, making money, which is what I'm doing. So I think normally if, like I said, if, if we would have had a better lunch, I might have not have taken this order, but because lunch went the way it went, we had to take this order, if that makes sense. So anyways, let me get this dropped off. Currently 3.15, let's go. Alrighty guys, after doing the last drop off from M Pizza, which was just $7 by the way, we drove all the way back to the town center. They didn't get any offers whatsoever. Then I started getting some garbage, uh, you know, declining. And then we got this order here from Total Wine, 11.25 for the payout, three items, four miles. Jumped on that right away. So we're heading to Total Wine right now and it came at a perfect time because right now I was literally yawning and like falling asleep, you know? So I was just jamming to some music, just chilling until the order came, which I'm so glad that it did. So anyways, let me get this picked up and then we'll see you guys back on the road. Alrighty guys, we got the order dropped off. Now we're sitting at $88 with 36 cents. I'm getting some orders from Grubhub, but nothing nothing good, nothing worth taking. So it looks like Grubhub is back to their old shenanigans. Although yesterday they came in clutch. So you know, you never know. Maybe they will later on today. It's only 4.14, so I'm pretty confident. Hopefully, I don't wanna you know jinx myself like I always do. I think we should be uh, at 100 by five. I'm hoping, I'm hoping. So hopefully that works out. We'll see you guys on the next one. Alrighty guys, I'm officially gonna stop predicting anything and saying anything about how I'm doing because these things always happen. So it's 5.03 and we just picked up our next order from North Italia showing a 625 payout, 2.8 miles or three miles, whatever it was, super dead. I get there, well, I was already there, okay? Supposed to be picked up at 449, didn't get it until like 459. And that's what I don't get about a place in North Italia, okay? So on the receipt, it says they got the order at 325, okay? It's completely dead, not a single soul, but it took them half an hour to make two things. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if they just don't care or they're just chilling. I don't, I don't, I don't know, I don't know. But I had to take it because if I didn't take it, I, I'm pretty sure I would have been waiting for an order. So it is what it is. Now we're only six minutes away. And hopefully, hopefully after this order, uh, we'll be around $100. But if not, we'll at least be in the mid 90s. So we'll see how that goes. We'll see you guys hopefully soon. Alrighty guys, we got the order dropped off. We became 825. So now we're sitting around $96, I believe. And then we got this order here from Now Your Average Joe's. And I'm thinking this is gonna be a banger. 11 items, I think it's going three miles maybe. $7 payout, right? But it does have those magical words, like you need a catering bag or a heated bag, whatever it says. Um, and 11 items, and Now Your Average Joe's is expensive. It's going to an office building. I think I've been there before. So I'm like 80% sure this is gonna be a banger. 
um, which is exactly what we needed because we're not even at 100 bucks yet. So hopefully the food is ready. The pickup time is not till 5.35 or 5.32 and it's only 5.19. So hopefully the food is ready. But even if it's not, I have a feeling that it's going to be totally worth it. So we'll see you guys back on the road. Alrighty guys, we got the food picked up and technically we waited 10 minutes, but it was on time. I was just so early to the restaurant, which is fine. I mean, he was giving me the orders. He made sure to tell me that they didn't put any silverware in the bags. And I guess he said they didn't ask for any. And I'm like, wouldn't you want to put some just in case for such a big order? But I mean, now I feel like I'm complicit in the fact that they might have to eat with their hands. No, I'm just kidding. I'm sure they have some. Uh, it's, a, it's a nice office building. I'm sure they got to have like a little like kitchen area and whatnot. So anyways we're only seven minutes away now and i can't see the subtotal it won't let me but i'm like 90 percent sure it's a banger like you know 90 percent sure so hopefully we don't have any issues uh getting into the building because sometimes if the security guard isn't there then you gotta click on the little like intercom system and then it's like harder to communicate um but i think it'll be fine currently 5 30 let's go Alrighty guys, we got the order dropped off and it had a $27 payout, I think, which is exactly what we needed. Now we're sitting around $125, which is awesome. Now it's currently $557, so basically almost six. And I'm having app issues, like I got an order and I'm trying to decline and it would just keep spinning. And that's telling me like you don't have permissions and all these things. I'm closing the app, opening it up again. Hopefully it's working because it's pretty annoying when that happens. Uh, and of course it always happens you know not when it's dead but of course when it's supposed to be you know the peak time right now so hopefully the app is working and we'll see you guys on the next order alrighty guys luckily we didn't do a lot of waiting we got this order here from Chipotle 625 I think it's like less than a mile and a half maybe the food was ready so we can knock this out in less than 10 minutes currently 605 let's go alrighty guys so we got the order dropped off from Chipotle I think it became like eight dollars with some change and then we made it back I've been declining a bunch of high mileage orders until we got this one right here from Nando's I think it's showing 675 for like three miles I think I'm taking it one because the delivery time it's 6.30, I think 6.35, and it's 6.22 right now. So I, there's a high chance that the order is ready. Uh, so we can knock it out basically in about 12 minutes if the food is ready. So that's kind of why I'm doing it. Because other than that, I've been getting like some crazy mileage orders. Like I, I should have taken screenshots, but then at the same time, like I get tired of having so many crappy screenshots on my phone, you know? So if I get another one that's like wild, I'll definitely take a screenshot. Cause we had a few that were like, what, what? You know, but anyways, let me get this picked up and then we'll see you guys back on the already guys. We can do order picked up and correct me if I'm wrong, but okay, so let's say there's a car accident on the road, right? Isn't it somebody's job to clean up all the debris? Like there must have been a car accident here earlier and there's a ton of plastic and glass everywhere. But I thought it was somebody's job to clean that up or, or am I wrong? Or is it supposed to be just some like street sweeping or whatever? I don't know. Because I drove really, really slow because I didn't want to, you know, get anything in my tires. So I'm going to be so mad <laughs> if later on or maybe, you know, at some point I see that one of my tires has a nail or a piece of glass or something. But anyways, currently 630. The order was ready. We picked it up. Now we're only five minutes away. So let's go. Alrighty, guys. After dropping off the last order, I think it became, I think, $8.25, I think. Uh, we made it back again. And I'm not getting anything like, you know. That I would like to get, you know, but the miles make sense, the payout makes sense. I also kept declining. I'm like, man, we're running out of time. And then I got this order right here from True Food Kitchen, twelve dollar payout, four items, five point seven miles. Um, and I was like, you know what? Double digit payout. It could always be a little bit more. And the food was ready, so that's why we're taking it. After this, we should have enough time to maybe do one more order. So I think we're gonna do. If not the same, just about what we did yesterday, I think. Actually, no, I think we're gonna do more today. Uh, not a lot more, but you know, a little bit more, which I guess that also helps. Um, but yeah, I mean, overall, the first two days of the week have been sluggish, you know, not the greatest. I think, I honestly think it's because of the weather. The weather is so nice. I think people are going out more. So I think it's just gonna, basically, I gotta adjust. So like, I gotta start earlier than what I've been starting to basically make up for that, you know? Because if I would have started, let's say, like 11 or maybe even 1030, I think we would be a lot closer to 200, in my opinion, you know. But anyways, we got a 10 minute drive. We'll see you guys on the next one. Alrighty, guys, we got the order dropped off and I think it became 1275, if I'm not mistaken. Now, we're basically almost out of time. I'm literally driving to, to work. 
but I'm not gonna turn dash my, my dash off. You know, if we get something that's really worth it, um, we're gonna take it, but I doubt it. If I'm not mistaken, we're sitting at $153 with 23 cents, which is more than what we did yesterday. So, you know, a little bit more, not a lot. Excuse me. But I guess it's a step in the right direction. Uh, tomorrow we have to start early. We just have to, you know, so I got to do something to wake up early. <laughs> but yeah, so hopefully we'll see you guys on the next order. Alrighty, guys, we're at the point of no return. It's 7.15. We didn't get anything worth taking. And even if I got one right now, unless it was an absolute banger, I wouldn't do it because I don't have enough time to uh, uh, finish it, you know, and then go to work and not be late, you know. So we're going to end the dash here at $153 with 23 cents, which honestly, I think it's pretty good. More than yesterday, we only did 13 deliveries today. Uh, and we didn't decline that much. I mean, typically we decline a lot more than 100 and what is it, 113, I think it's what it is. Yeah, typically, I mean, there's days where I've declined almost 300, 200, 150 plus. I'm not afraid of declining because I'm not going to take any of those low paying offers. Uh, but I, again, I, I know for a fact now the two to five is key in basically saving the dash. And I have to start early somehow, some way to make up the to make up for the fact that it's not as busy, you know. Um, but yeah, overall for the entire month, we're sitting at $1,871 with 16 cents. The goal is $5,050 for the end of the, uh, by the end of the month. So we still got plenty of time uh, to make up the ground that we've lost because the last two days have been a bit slow. Um, but yeah, so anyways, I'm gonna put up all my numbers. You guys can check them out. Thank you so much for coming along in today's Dash. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so and we'll see you guys next time.